Hello and welcome back to another week in outfits. As you can see, I've had a haircut. Um, I have gone a little bit shorter than I intended to because we're going on holiday in a week and as soon as I get in the sun, my hair just grows at an exceptionally fast rate. So I figured by the time I come back off holiday, it'll kind of be at the length that I want it to be at. Um, but I'm, I'm loving having a new haircut, like I, I mean it wasn't long beforehand but it felt long to me, like I've had a bob or a bob in some form for um, years, like I've never really had long hair, so for it to sort of get to the point where I could kind of like tuck it behind my back, I was like oh this feels a bit too long, and because my hair is incredibly thick, when it does start to get really long, it just, I, I feel like I've just got too much hair. I just feel like, I don't like the way it feels around my neck. I just feel like it kind of brings my face down and it just weighs itself down a little bit. So um, we've gone short again. And I always get really excited when I have a fresh bob, especially when I go like quite short because it feels new and exciting and it kind of changes the outfits a little bit. and. Um, it makes getting dressed a bit more fun again. Um, it really transforms the way clothes look and gives them a bit of a new lease of life. Today's outfit is super simple, very comfortable, laid back because I'm not really doing much today and I just want to feel comfortable and like myself. So I've gone head to toe navy, but this is like my winter edition of head to toe navy. The jumper I'm wearing is a merino wool crew neck jumper from Marquette and I cannot sing the praises of a navy jumper enough like I guess it's similar to what I was saying last week about the power of navy but a navy jumper is so good it's like the unsung hero of the transitional period for me I find it's I mean I hate it when people say oh it goes with everything but it really does like this is like a key piece that just Pretty much goes with everything. There you go, I said it. It does work extremely hard and it is a very, very versatile and it feels very um, subtly premium. It's, um, it's kind of like a smart jumper, but at the same time, I feel really quite relaxed and comfortable in it. This is a size small. However, I wish I'd got the size extra small because I don't, I mean, I don't mind it, I quite like that it. it's a little bit oversized, but I'm not a massive fan of how much um, billowing there is when I tuck it in, I guess. Um, and it's not, I don't know, it's not like super unflattering, I just think I would have liked it a little bit closer to my body. So um, if you are considering purchasing this, then that's just a heads up, maybe just stick to your true size rather than sizing up, depending on how you want it to fit. It's such a good one because obviously it's long sleeve, it's not too thick, um, so when it is a bit of a funny temperature outside, this is a good one to just chuck on with a pair of trousers and it keeps you warm. My trousers are from Margaret Howe, which sadly are on loan, um, which is something I'd kind of like to get your thoughts on. I mean, I don't loan clothes very often, but there are cases like this ahead of fashion week where I will loan a few pieces to wear at a show or maybe to shoot and it's, um, it's a funny one because I think it's a great way for me to try something from a brand that I might not have thought about buying or you know might not be able to necessarily afford but it's also a funny one because I don't have it long enough to fully test it I guess. However Margaret Howell is a brand that I love, it's a brand that I would spend my money on um, and I 100% like can get behind the brand regardless of whether I'm loaning pieces or not. Something that I love about Margaret Howell and I find with a lot of higher end brands with their trousers they fit me so well. I struggle with trousers and I, I've touched on this before in the past when speaking about acne the trousers just fit me so well. Admittedly, lengths are never great, but that's across the board, high street and high end, I'm always going to struggle with lengths. 
but I really struggle with waist sizes on the high street and I find as soon as I go over to higher end they fit me really really well so these are a pair of single pleated wool trousers and they are heavy they are really heavy and I love them I think these will be awesome as a uh, winter pair of trousers they they're not lined because sometimes wool trousers will then be lined with like a um, almost like a kind of like shiny lining I, I, I don't know if you know what I mean but these aren't so these feel lovely you know you've got the wool against your skin they fit me really well around the waist these are a size 8 I could have gone down to a size 6 to be honest but the size 8 is still good like they don't um, they don't slip down or anything they don't feel like they're gaping too much I think these trousers are meant to be slightly cropped but I really like where these hit the top of my shoe I, I do like these a lot um, and I will be sad to return them but it's um, it's a nice way to try something and think, oh, maybe actually, yeah, I would, I might buy that. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to get your thoughts on that kind of thing. It's not something I'm going to do loads because I like to, I guess, buy my clothes and keep my clothes. But um, there will be some loaning here and there. So yeah, it'd be quite interesting to just get some thoughts. And then my shoes are from Studio Nicholson. They're the Studio Nicholson Moonstar Collaboration shoes, which... Annoyingly, they are no longer available on the website. I'm hoping that in the next coming months they will bring back the kind of cream and the crew colours because at the moment they've got black, navy, brown, and I think there's like an electric blue maybe. Um, but they tend to do them all year round, so it wouldn't surprise me if the cream colours do come back. So I'll keep an eye on the website and um, let you all know if they come back. And that's it. Like I said, a really, really simple one today. A very relaxed one. I feel like because I've picked head to toe navy, it, it's not just jumper and trousers. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels a little bit more than just jumper and trousers. It's like special jumper and trousers. I feel relaxed, I feel comfortable, but I also feel like I've got nice clothes. As you can see, the Arquette blazer is still going very, very strong. I am quite surprised how much I've actually worn this because when I first got it, or when I was first looking at it, I was kind of like, mmm, grey blazer. Not quite sure if that's going to work for me, but I gave it a go and I was pleasantly surprised. I kind of just always assumed that a grey blazer would just be a bit dull or maybe just wouldn't work for me. Um, but I think the reason it works is down to the colour. I think it's a very good shade of grey because a lot of the time greys, if you get it wrong, they can be quite unflattering. They're not very forgiving. They have this real ability to just make you look really dull. So I think because this is a very light grey and it's not too blue, it works. It's just, it's almost like a neutral, a very flattering neutral. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with this actually and I'm finding this almost easier to wear than the black blazer actually. It is a bit lighter, whereas, you know what black's like, a black blazer can feel really hard to style some days. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I am wearing a size 34. Must remember to tell you the size of the things because I keep forgetting to do that. Wearing the ribbed weekday vest again, and then I'm wearing some new jeans. I feel like I've really hit my sort of stride with jeans at the moment, um, which is really odd because I'm not a denim person at all. I really actually dislike denim a lot. I don't feel comfortable in it at all, and for that reason avoid it basically. I think it's just because I don't enjoy, I don't like it when things are too just tight around here. I don't like anything too tight around my thighs. I like things to be quite um, loose. So I've avoided denim because I just find denim really uncomfortable around my stomach, my bum, my crotch. But when I got those Uniqlo U curve jeans last week, those blue ones, I was just like, whoa, okay, these are awesome like these really work like I'm really enjoying these um, and then last week when I was looking for the link to pop in last week's video I saw that they came in this color a crew and they weren't 
on the website when I was looking for, at the blue pair. Um, so I was like, uh, yes please, I will definitely order those. And then I also noticed that they'd put a size 23 on there as well, which wasn't there when I ordered the blue. Now, I am by no means a waist 23 at all. But I think this style of jeans come up quite big um, and it's kind of frustrating really because it just shows like how inconsistent high street denim is like last week I tried a pair of jeans on in a 26 at Arquette and they were too small for me and now I'm having to buy a 23 in Uniqlo it's just it's so frustrating um, I just wish there was like consistency across the board anyway like I said I think these jeans come up a little bit big so um, the blue pair that I saw that you saw me in last week are a size 24 which fit all right but I just I felt like they could have been a little bit more snug around the waist so when I saw they came in 23 I was like right I'm going to try 23 um, and yeah these these do feel a lot better around the waist I feel um, just they knit in just a little bit more and I think what I like about these jeans is that they go they just balloon out and they don't cling and that's what I'm always trying to avoid with trousers denim anything really I um, have done a double turn up now, I'm thinking I might go to the tailor with this pair because I'd quite like to have them turned up so that I only have to do one turn up. I don't particularly like doing the double turn up. I prefer to just do one. So I might get them taken up a little bit. Um, but then I'd also like to see what the jeans would look like if I had them fully taken up so that I didn't have to turn them up at all. Um, but then if I do that and don't like it, there's no going back. So. Yeah, for the time being, I think I might take them to the tailor and just have them taken up a tiny wee bit. Other than that, really, really, really love these jeans. And I've had so many messages from other people saying how much they're enjoying this sort of weird, curved shape. And then my shoes. Okay, so my shoes were a treat to myself um, last week or the week before, I think I got them. And they are from Le Mer. I'll tell you the reasoning behind me purchasing these shoes, or like my thought process, because as with a lot of purchases, there is a lot of thinking and I often have like weird reasons or very in-depth reasons as to why I buy things, and these shoes were no exception. So back when I used to work in retail, I wore these um, shoes from COS every day, and they were these round-toed glove shoes, or glove style shoes, they had a really high vamp and a little block heel, they're black leather, and I wore them every day. They were like my ideal heel. They were so, so good. And long time COS fans might remember them. They also came in uh, pink suede and grey suede. And, oh, they were brilliant. They were just, they were so good. So good that I actually had a backup pair ready for when the first pair sort of had their day. Because COS shoes don't, they don't last a long time, I find. Especially if you're wearing them every day, they don't last a long time. So when I eventually um, left my job, I was like, oh, it would be nice to have a shoe like that that I can continue to wear every day. But Cos didn't continue doing them, which is kind of annoying, otherwise I would have carried on wearing those for a long, long time. But there's always been like this kind of, I guess, black heel shaped hole missing in my wardrobe. And I've always wanted to have just like a nice black heel that I can wear every day. And nothing has really sort of caught my eye. Um, but then I clocked these. I mean, I've known about these shoes for a good couple of years now and they've always been in the back of my mind. But I was always a bit hesitant because I feel like, I mean, I feel like they're classic, but at the same time they're not. And I think it's just because of the shape of them. I guess it's not traditionally what you would maybe consider a sort of classic everyday black heeled shoe. And I don't particularly want a kitten heel because I can't walk in them. Um, and I don't particularly want, I didn't want anything pointy. I just, I guess I wanted something unusual, but I wanted something that would sort of work well in my wardrobe and sort of stand the test of time. I've been denied about these for a very long time, I'd say for about two years. And then two weeks ago, finally bit the bullet because I was just like, I. I'm, gonna, I'm going to order them, see what they look like, and I'll be able to tell if they're not going to work in my wardrobe. And literally, as soon as I opened up the box, I was just like, besotted. I was like, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And I spent about 
half a day just like prancing around in them, trying them on with loads of different things in my wardrobe. Yeah, a very, very simple outfit today, very basic, but um, I like it and I feel comfortable in it and that's all that matters. Today's outfit really is as simple as they come. I am now about to get on the train to head down to stay with the lovely Live Purpose tonight. I'm going to go around here for dinner, I'm going to stay there. So um, I've just slung on something that's really comfortable because um, I'm just going to be sat on the train for the next two hours and then I'm heading straight to her. So nothing really that fancy, super, super basic, but I feel like I've added a little bit of a twist with some coloured socks. The trench is from a brand called Sana NY that I recently discovered and I really really like this trench because there's a few subtle details that I think really um, make it quite beautifully simple, shall we say. The first being these extra large cuffs. I like that having this larger cuff kind of adds a bit of weight to the sleeve because with trenches, I get they're meant to be lightweight, but for me, when I wear outerwear, I kind of like it to be a little bit heavy. So having that extra large cuff just sort of weighs the sleeve down a little bit, and it just has a very nice feeling to it, and a very nice sort of swing. Um, these are going to be really like small, weird details that people probably don't even consider when wearing their coats. The second thing I like about the cuff is when I have them, when I have my hands in my pockets, I quite like how they look. I just like how the cuff looks and how it sort of, how it just sort of hangs. You know, I just quite like the way that looks. I like the way it just sort of gathers up at the bottom there, has a really nice volume to it. I also like that it's single breasted. I'm not a huge fan of double breasted trenches. I think they look nice, especially when they're done up. But when they're undone, I feel like there's just there's too much fabric there for me. There's too much like flapping about. And because I wear a lot of my bags cross body, I find that to be a bit of an annoyance. There tends to be too much fabric. Then I put my bag over and it all just becomes a bit of a tangled mess. So I always tend to opt for a single breasted style. So, um, yeah, like that this is single breasted. Quite like that the buttons are concealed as well. I'm not normally a fan of a concealed placket, I think that's the word. Um, but there's something about this, I think it's just really nice and clean. There's a very good detail on the back actually that I'll show you. So, there's this tab that basically um, stops the belt from falling off. Because when you have a trench on that has a belt, more often than not, the belt tends to like slide off and before you know it it's like hanging off and you're about to lose it whereas this tab still allows you to move the belt left to right but you can't fully pull it off so you'll never actually fully lose your belt which I've almost done several times um, and I haven't seen this kind of detail on many trenches I feel like this is such a good thing to have but I rarely see it on a trench I do believe that this is like a one-size-fits-all trench though, which I find a bit bizarre when brands do that because I just don't believe that it's it's just not true, like one size doesn't fit all. I just find it really bizarre when brands do that, just give you one size. But luckily for me, it's kind of worked quite well on me in terms of length and the oversizedness isn't too bad. Um, but. Yeah, I just I just find it really odd when brands do that. Okay, so underneath, super basic, as I said, black t-shirt from Arquette. This is the uh, £12 crew neck one that I wore last week, but in black. Uh, size extra small, again. And then my trousers are from Acne. I've had these for maybe a year or a year and a half now, I think. They are their kind of standard black trousers that they do pretty much every season. They do change the name of them though. These ones I remember were called like the Tria Structure or so something along those lines. But I will go on the website and I will find their new season equivalent because they always do them. They are a wool blend, so they are quite good again for this transitioning period because they're not they're not like that thick, almost like felt feeling wool. Um, but they have some wool content in them, so they do keep me quite warm. 
And then to jazz up the outfit a little bit, I've popped on some socks with my Burberry shoes. These socks are from Muji, which um, I did have a look for online and I can't find them. But um, hopefully by the time I do this video, they will be online. If not, I know they're in store. They're like a new autumnal colour that they've done. Um, and I just quite like it. I like that it's just a little bit of a sort of nod to the tone of the trench. Um, and also keep my feet warm. And then, so tomorrow I'm in London for, I've got a couple of work bits, and I do want to wear something different. However, I want to pack very, very light. I'm literally taking a tote bag with like my makeup in my pajamas and that's it. But I'm also going to take a skirt and some socks and I'm gonna show you now how by just changing a few things you can kind of, well not transform the outfit, but you can create a very different um, vibe, I guess. Okay, all I've done to change the outfit is swap the trousers out for a black skirt and swapped the socks for black socks. The skirt is from COS, I got it in the summer and it has quite possibly been one of the best COS purchases, or actually just one of the best skirt purchases I've ever made. It's proven itself to be so versatile and it's so comfortable and so easy to wear and it's so lightweight but structured at the same time which I really like and that also makes it super easy to pack so it folds down really small and it's not heavy so I can just pop it in the tote bag with the socks and it's no trouble at all. I know I haven't changed the outfit dramatically it's still black but I feel like it becomes um, something different with the skirt it feels a little bit more fun it just feels a little bit more like I'm kind of expressing my personal style a bit more and I yeah just I, I really love it with the skirt and um, the black socks I quite like how it's still very simple but it's just little subtle changes and uh, fabrics that just make it feel a little bit more fun. Today I'm going down to London because I'm going to the Margaret Howe Spring and Summer 20 show which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm very lucky that I get asked to attend um, each fashion week and it's my favourite show because I absolutely adore Margaret Howe and I just love the brand entirely. So I have been um, very kindly given a Margaret Howe dress to wear to the show. So this look isn't exactly an everyday look, but I wanted to document it anyway, just to show you what I did wear to the show. So this is technically a dress, but it is called a trench dress. If you go on the Margaret Howe website, it is in the dress section. However, you could easily wear this as a trench, um, just because of its nature, you know, the shape and the way it's cut, it, it, you could easily throw this on and just wear this as outerwear. The colour is so nice and I am so drawn to green at the moment. I find it really, um, as a colour to wear, it's very calming and just quite a soothing colour to wear. But I also think it's very complimentary of my skin tone and my hair colour. I really, really like it. I love these sort of like warm, dark, sort of brownie greens, more so than like a true green. I had great plans to wear this today with some really nice wool trousers and a jumper, but it's meant to be 26 degrees a day, so all of my plans have gone out the window and I've decided to wear the trench um, as a dress, like as it is intended. So um, I'm wearing only my underwear underneath this, so I'm hoping that I don't get too hot. I am wearing my Burberry shoes. I decided to go for flats today because, again, it's so warm. Any sort of like heel or platform would just be really uncomfortable for me. So um, I've gone comfort first and worn my Burberry shoes. And then I've paired it with a white bag, which I really like against the, um, the green. And this is from a brand called, um, I think it's pronounced Vacare. It's a Latin word, but the brand is was uh, founded by two Spanish-born friends who are based in London but all the bags are manufactured in Spain by family-owned factories and the two friends who own the brand are like completely involved with the entire process. But yeah it's a really nice story um, behind the brand and I feel like there's a lot of like love and care that goes into all of the bags. It's a very unusual shape, it's not like anything that I own, however it's not um, it's probably not the best day bag. 
today I'm only going to the show and then I'm going for lunch, so I'm not carrying anything, like I'm not carrying much around with me. I'd say at most I can fit my phone in here, um, a few bits of makeup, like a little compact mirror, I can fit my purse in here and then some sunglasses and that's pretty much it. Um, I could maybe squidge my tiny Canon uh, G7X in here at a push, but I probably wouldn't be able to do the bag up. But that being said, it's a really nice evening bag, or if you know that you can just travel light, it is a lovely bag um, for any time of day really. And that, that's all I'm wearing today. It's super simple, but I quite like that the um, the dress just speaks for itself. It does all the work. It's, I quite like it when you just wear one piece that just stands out enough. I feel like I'm dressed like me, but it's a more, I guess, elevated uh, version of myself. Um, so yeah, that's me for today. I love today's outfit so much. It's not too dissimilar to something I wore last week, but with a few subtle changes, I feel like I've just elevated it ever so slightly. So I've got on the Margaret Howell trench again today, but I'm wearing it as a trench as opposed to wearing it as a dress like I did yesterday. Um, I thought I'd show you how I have been styling it up as outerwear. I'm really enjoying the trench. The only thing I would say if I was to buy this trench is that I would probably get it taken up just a little bit because I feel like it's, when I'm wearing it undone like this, I feel like it's ever so slightly too long for my frame. It could just be taken up like two inches. Apart from that, the fit elsewhere is great. I'm wearing a size A just for reference. Underneath, I've got on the Uniqlo U Curve jeans that you saw last week. And then I'm wearing the white version of the black blouse that I also wore last week. I'll take my coat off just so it's easier to see. This is the white version. Sadly, I think it's now sold out because it went into the sale and it went down to something crazy like 13 or 12 pounds, which is an absolute steal. And yeah, I think it just sold out immediately, which is such a shame because I think it's such a great style. As you can see, it's just, it's very similar to last week's outfit, but with a little bit of a heel and just changing the colour of the top, I think, and also a new haircut has just made it feel a little bit different. Um, but fairly straightforward, can't think of anything else to say. Oh yeah, the blouse is size, sorry, the sleeves sort of ruck up a bit when I put the coat on. The blouse is extra small and the jeans are waist 24, I believe. Um, oh, actually I'll say a couple of things about this bag because believe it or not, there is still more to say about it. I've had a lot of questions recently just about the availability of this bag. So I bought this bag in January. I bought it, yeah, at the beginning of January in Sydney. And so yeah, we're coming up to what, like nearly 10 months since I bought this bag. And it would seem that Acne no longer do this colour. I've searched high and low to find a stockist and it just seems that they've stopped doing the white. You can buy it in the micro size, but you can't get it in the mini size, which is what this one is. This is the Musubi Mini, um, which is such a shame because I actually think that this colour is probably one of the better colours that they've done the Musubi in. At the moment, the closest you can get to this colour is a very, very, very pale blue. Um, you almost can't tell that it's blue, but it's, um, it definitely has got a hint of blue to it. So, uh, sorry that this is not available. I'm kind of gutted because they've kept doing the black and they've kept doing the tan. And I just think it would have made sense to keep doing the white, but sadly not. Um, I just recommend keeping an eye on eBay and Bestier Collective if it is a bag that you um, really, really would like. So that is me done for another week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have taken away some inspiration. And I hope I remembered to say all the sizes of everything I'm wearing this week. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week.